All in third place at four and four, and Brigham Young now all alone in fourth at three and four, ahead of Stamford, who has just two wins and four losses. This is the only match going on involving the Mamba Seven Sports Federation. Capono Brown will bring it into play. Cougars in their blue and white moving right to left. Pepperdine in their white, orange, and blue. They do start Alex Mukai, the transfer from Princeton. Strong serve by Capono Brown. Akeem uh, Akeem Wumi gets it over. Pepperdine back on offense. Backside, Alex Mukai. The serve yesterday by Brigham Young was so strong, they had nine aces and just 12 airs. Much better than a almost a one-to-one -one ratio, and they were putting so much pressure on Pepperdine that despite the back of the waves at 272, Brigham Young 207, but they kept the ball in play most of the time. In comparison, Pepperdine had four aces, but 23 service airs over the middle, and the Cougars are tied up and won a piece. The Capone Brown yesterday was outstanding. Both teams got solid play from their benches. Pepperdine, Anderson, Buller, and Alex Mackay. And Mackay was so good that he gets the start to, on this senior day for Pepperdine at BYU. Akeem Wumi who had a career best 24 kills last night on the outside. The block up run. Akeem Wumi and Ethan Watson, 6A redshirt freshman, who waves again. Watson one more time. Not sure why Watson didn't play yesterday, but he is a really talented, athletic, long player. 6'8", redshirt freshman out of Sunnyvale, California. He leads the nation hitting 560, and he comes in with 59 blocks. 2-1 to one Pepperdine, Alex Mackay, four years at Princeton, originally from Ontario, Canada. That's 6'5", graduate. Outside, Romanus pounds it. Waves cover, back row attack, Cole Kuchansky. Four years at UCLA, 2021, he was an honorable mention All-American as a sophomore, and he leads Pepperdine this year with 255 kills, comes in hitting 330. Murkai once again to bring it into play. Well, Brigham Young, they came on strong in the match, did a much better job blocking and sets four and five, and over the middle it is Luke Benson who had a big match yesterday. Benson at 21 kills. We mentioned Capono Brown, he had three aces. Ian Little came off the bench to get four aces in a crucial third set. And maybe the slight difference between the two was the serving ability of Brigham Young yesterday. Gavin Julian, the senior middle blocker, waves get it over, but kept alive. And over the middle. The point for Brigham Young, but a nice save by Capono Brown, number 13. He transferred in from Stanford where he played alongside Jalen Jasper, a five-time All-American who transferred to Pepperdine from Stanford and a two-time All-American with the Waves. We're tied to three. It's the best three out of five. First four sets to 25. You must win by two. There's no cap. Over the middle, Watson once again, who the Cougars have not seen and already has made a difference early. 4-3 Pepperdine. If it does go to a set five, they'll play to 15. And again, you must win by two. There is no cap. At almost 1,300 last night in the building. That's almost half full. Capacity here at the Dine, 3,100. Mitch Romanus. Honorable mention, All-American last year. 6'6", junior from Walnut Creek, California. Came into this series with 157 kills and hitting 294. He was first team All-NBSF last year. And this is Tyler Hergep, the transfer from Penn State, where he was a reserve. He is the center, averaging better than nine assists per set. Pepperdine and Brigham Young tied at four. Kachansky cross court. So for Brigham Young, they have beaten Pepperdine on the road, so they're feeling confident for a little bit of momentum. For Pepperdine, they certainly want to prove something, so they're going to come out with a lot of intensity, energy, and they're going to play extremely hard and motivated to try to come back and show Brigham Young. Capone Brown again. Capono Brown, another outstanding campaign, 144 kills, hitting just 206. 
that leads the team with 29 service aces. All right, Mix Romanus. Outside hitter, jump serve, and an ace. Well, certainly a key for Pepperdine, how they will handle Brigham Young's serve. And more importantly, can BYU continue to keep it in play? They were so good last night. You know, coaches talk about aces to air ratio. You go from one to two, maybe one to three. So if you have four aces, 12 airs, that's still pretty good. You're putting the other team and putting a lot of pressure on that team. I came Wilmy from the backside and missed it long. Cougar seven, Pepperdine five in the first set. Waves as a team come in hitting 325. They have held their opponents to just a 217 hitting percentage, despite the fact Pepperdine held Brigham Young to only a 207 hitting percentage last night and could not get the win. Cougars come in hitting 284 as a team, allowing 277 by their opponent. Waves able to send it back on the outside. Capono Brown, ball tipped and kept in play. Tapped over by Pepperdine at the Chavaria outside Brown again. This shot is good by Brown. Eight to five BYU. Now the winter along the sideline. Second season. Mix Romanus uh, again. The Cougars riding a strong serve. What kind of adjustments these teams will make having to play back to back. Such a tough emotional loss for Pepperdine and such an energetic emotional win for Brigham Young last night. When you try to get it out of your mind. I know a lot of coaches will have a rule whether you win or lose. If you're Sean Olmstead, by midnight, you forget all about it and get ready for the next match and the next day. And linger whether it's a win or a loss. And Ryan Grace comes up short. Nine to six Brigham Young. Waves a strong serving team. They have out aced their opponents. 104 to 94. BYU serving. Again, they looked so good the other night. 105 to 100. And that comes up short by Tian Taylor, the middle blocker. BYU was picked third along with Grand Canyon in the preseason bowl with UCLA picked on one, followed by Stanford. Pepperdine was picked six out of the seven-team league. Only Concordia was one step below. All right, good jump serve by Pepperdine, kept alive by the Cougars. They volley it back over the middle. Jay Chavaria. The transfer from New Jersey Institute of Technology on top of everything else because it is senior day. We got a lot of Pepperdine fans and family. You play with a lot of emotion, especially the younger players. They do not want to send those seniors out on a losing note when they're honored. Previously before the match, we'll show you a little bit of highlights in between one of the sets. The waves again. Yeah. Alex Mercat. We're tied at nine. Pepperdine starts the match hitting 364, the Cougars 455. Waves had the edge blocking yesterday. 28 to 23, but the Cougars really caught up in sets four and five, made some adjustments. Birdgett goes outside to Benson, all oh, the block there. Murkai and De Chavaria. Waves are not a real big team, but they're extremely athletic and deep. They can go to the bench and bring any number of players in. You can probably say the same thing for the Cougars. Uh, the Waves do a lot of back row attack with those quick athletes. Right, Cougars serving, what a great serve once again, and then the smackdown by Luke Benson, by Cabona Brown. Just firing that serve, 11 to nine BYU. Well, he's a big advantage. Played at Stanford, starter last year from Honolulu. I toss and rocks and fires. Boy, he sends it deep. Trey Cole receives. Akeem Wumi with a quick hitter. Right, one with the left hand. He's playing with some emotion and intensity that the Cougars will have to match at least early on. 11 to 10 in favor of BYU. And now Martin de Chavaria. All the way from Palma de Mallorca, Spain. He's on the Spain's junior national team. 
four years all-conference in the Eastern Intercollegiate Volleyball Association. Over the middle, Gavin Julian. Amazingly, the Cougars did such a good job handling Pepperdine's serve, but the Waves again gave away a lot of points. 23 service errors, only four aces, and yet the Cougars only hit 207. Bigger than their ability to handle the ball. Boy, Cole on his back again. Akeem Wumi on the block up run. Rominus, Julian, and Herget. The Cougar club comes up big. 13 to 10, Brigham Young. I think it's pretty important that the Waves reestablish themselves. That's Luke Benson, the outside hitter. 21 kills yesterday. There's jump serve, but that goes out of bounds. That match was so close yesterday. I mean, they went back and forth in every set. There were 45 ties combined and 21 lead changes. The first set alone, there were 18 ties and six lead changes. It was quite a match. All right, Waves get the ball back down 13 to 11. Alex Merkai, strong serve, gets the ace. Great top spin, downward movement, and great location. Untouched, 13 to 12. I always think being a serving in the game of volleyball is a lot like being a baseball pitcher. It's about speed, velocity, changing speeds, location, keeping your opponent off balance. Nice block up front, Graves and Watson. Uh, again, this one goes off. The Waves able to get it over and Watson scores. Yeah. Right, nice play by Pepperdine just to keep that alive. And then able to score. We're even at 13. Murkai once again. Four years at Princeton, the graduate, in the way of honoring eight seniors before the match. And we'll show you a few highlights down the road during this contest. Over the middle, Julian pounds it, waves cover. Back row, oh, what a block up run. Gavin Julian. I mean, that's a great play. It is so tough to, to block a back row attacker, one on one, no less. 14 to 13. Well, that's the type of play that can spark your team where the Waves got exactly what they wanted, but turned back. All right, Cougars, Julian comes up short. All that momentum, and they let all the air out of the balloon. All right, Jackson Pipe comes back in. We mentioned yesterday that Bernardo Adam, the sophomore libero from Brazil, really injured his right hand. He cut it deeply. In the match yesterday, well, he is suited up, but he's got a heavy bandage on his right hand. The return goes out of bounds. Pepperdine gets the point. I don't think Adam will play. We get him to bench him with three kills. We'll see number one. And Pepperdine Cole Kachansky with two kills. Ethan Watson with two and a block already. You know, Watson's already made his presence known early on. All right, Pepperdine, uh, King of King Wumi, he was honorable mention all NBSF last year, but as a middle blocker, his natural position is on the outside, and he's back in that position once again. 24 kills yesterday on oh, the block up front. Watson, right there, number seven, and Cole Kuchansky. Again, the Cougars have not seen him because he didn't play yesterday. I'm sure they've seen him on film. Waves have the lead, 16 to 14. Maybe challenged or just a timeout taken by Brigham Young. 16 14 Pepperdine will come back. Women, as is Sean Olmstead in his ninth season as head coach of the Cougars, four time MPSF coach of the year, a service sailor signed out to Brigham Young. 3,500 averaging. And so they love their volleyball, men and women. Their women's team had another big year, coached by Sean Olmstead's sister. Heather went 25 and 7, went to the NCAA, lost in the second round to Arizona State. Of course, BYU formerly in the West Coast Conference over the middle, the block Keon Taylor, and Robinus goes out of bounds, and Pepperdine gets the point. Ethan Watson once again. Joe Deluzio comes in to serve. One of those seniors honored. There you see Watson 17-15 Pepperdine in the first set. 
BYU in the West Coast Conference that Pepperdine plays in in other sports. Oh, Gonzaga, St. Mary's, Santa Clara, San Francisco, Service Ace. Joe Deluzio on his senior day. Big 12, and they held their own. Football program went five and seven, but that is the Big 12. The women's soccer team made it all the way to the national championship off the blocks. Cole Kachansky driving it hard and gets the point. Make it Alex McKay. 1916, November 9. The women's soccer team for Brigham Young went all the way to the national championship game. Came up short against Stamper, but what a year they had. Over the middle. That is Taylor, Waves able to control, and they joust up on goal, Kuchansky. Uh, Waves playing with a lot of emotion, energy, and intensity. A timeout taken by BYU. The Cougars one ace already, four airs. Pepperdine, three aces, and just two airs. A little bit of a reversal from yesterday. Waves, Ryan Graves, the center of the freshman. On the backside, Capono Brown. And that one was touched. Mm -hmm. Brigham Young slows Pepperdine down momentarily. 2017. And here comes Ian Little, who came off the bench yesterday. And if he didn't get an ace, he put a lot of pressure on Pepperdine's offense. He had four aces in that in the match and a key performer in the third set that gave the Cougars a two to one lead in the match. The strong left handed the Waves able to play it over the middle. Dave Chavarria. Pepperdine 21, BYU 17. So with BYU leading the West Coast Conference to the Big 12, next season, Washington State and Oregon State come into the West Coast Conference, giving the league 11 schools. Of course, with the Pac 12 losing so many schools. They will play in most sports, including women's volleyball, men and women's soccer. Luke Benson gets the put away. Baseball, men and women's basketball, probably golf and other sports. And that is good for two years and hopefully longer if you're the WCC. There's things are changing so fast these days. The Big 12 lost to Oklahoma and Texas to the Southeastern Conference, but they added four Pac-12 schools. Waves on the offensive, the Keenan came wooing. The Waves struggle again with that serve outside. Benson hammers it. Kachansky there to hold on. It comes back to Akeem Wumi with a rip. Covered by BYU. Benson again, but his shot no good. Thought it might have been touched. 22 to 18 in favor of Pepperdine for a set. One of the assistant coaches, Sean Olmstead, in the dark jersey, four time in PSF Coach of the Year, recently as 2021. Brendan Ree comes in for Pepperdine. De Chavarria will sit out. That's two kills That's early on. Reed with a good serve is an excellent defensive player. On Olmstead, who played his volleyball at Brigham Young, was a top libero, graduated in 2005, off the blocks, Capono Brown. Transferred in from Stanford. Remember, Stanford thought they were going to drop the program. Came very close. Part of like 11 athletic teams that were going to be dropped. And the Boosters and alumni stepped in. One reason why Jalen Jasper transferred to Pepperdine, and then Capono Brown comes to Brigham Young. All right, John Stanley, who played quite well yesterday, also came off the bench. 6-2, good jump serve. Waves again over the middle. That is Ethan Watson, controlled by BYU. Mitch Romanus able to get the kill. 22-20. Stanley again. And the Wave will take a timeout, trying to slow the Cougar train down. We will come one conference to the next. Well, next year in the MPSF, Vanguard and Menlo will come in to the MPSF, bringing the conference to nine schools. Ball kept in play. Akeem Wumi with a touch, volleyed over by Trey Cole, the senior libero. Outside, Romanus with a rip. Waves again, can't get it over. Mix Romanus. Now with four kills, well-balanced attack early by BYU. Benson with four, Brown with four, and Romanus with four. 
Well, Kachansky leading Pepperdine with four. Ethan wants him with three and a couple of blocks early. All right, 22-21. Pepperdine on the offensive. They go outside to a came Wumi with a hit. Covered by BYU. Backside, Capone Brown. And we're tied at 22. The Cougars on a 4 0 1. Riding the serve of John Stanley. Again, like a baseball pitcher, velocity, changing speeds, location, ball movement, just like a baseball pitcher. But that one is out of bounds. Side down, Pepperdine. 23 22 waves. Well, with Menlo and Vanguard, a couple of lower division schools, we have well over 60 schools and any division playing Division I men's volleyball in the future. Waves, rocket the serve. It came Wumi able to get the kill. Give all the credit to Alex Murkai with that strong serve. It is set point number one for Pepperdine. Set point Pepperdine. Alex Murkai once again, four years at Princeton on the Canadian Junior National Team, 6'5 graduate. Another jump serve, good topspin. Herget outside Romanus. Mix Romanus. Set point number two, 24 23, Pepperdine. BYU gets possession. Noah Hain. His brother Riley plays at Concordia. And so Noah to serve. 6 3 junior from Honolulu. John Stanley also from the islands. Service air and Pepperdine wins 25 to 23. And quite a battle in the first set. Pepperdine takes a one to nothing and digs 10 to 8 BYU. Now both these schools with great men's volleyball history. Cougars with three national titles. Their last in 2004. Kachansky serve goes out of bounds. Side out to Brigham Young in the point. Pepperdine with five national titles, but their last in 2005. That five national titles in men's volleyball, second most all time in the NCAA. Of course, UCLA number one with 20. Another strong serve by Brown. Akane Rumi rifles it, but it, it was touched. And Pepperdine gets the point, and we're even at one. Uh, five national titles by Pepperdine, 20 for UCLA, including last year, but the Bruins have not won one since 2006. It took them a while. Uh, they cruised last year going 31-2. and two. They are the Azam favorites and win it again, and currently ranked number three in the nation, second place in the MPSF at 5-1 and one to Grand Canyon, who is 8-0. Oh. Grand Canyon coming away with a couple of wins over Concordia. Point for the Cougars, two to one, and now Luke Benson. Well, Benson, 6'7", junior from Newberry Park. 18 aces on the year, actually leads the Cougars with 199 kills, Gavin Julian. Well, Benson's been their number one option. Look at the Cougars, 12 and seven on the year, three and four in league. Pepperdine, 16 and six, four and four in conference. Yeah, let's see, we're going to get maybe a challenge or a timeout. We'll take a look at this one. Three to one Cougars. The Waves are going to challenge this. The call on the court was a point to BYU. BYU ranked number seven in the nation this week. Pepperdine number eight. Now, each coach gets three challenges. If you win your challenge, you keep them. If you lose it, you're down one. We'll take another look. Great save, but Cole's been on his back. Not sure what they're looking at. Maybe mishandling the ball. Gavin Julian with a stuff. I don't think he touched the net. The Waves are going to win the challenge. Apparently did touch the net. And the point is reversed, and we're tied at two. If it does go to a set five, each coach will get an additional challenge. Well, BYU located in Provo, Utah, about 45 miles southeast of Salt Lake City. 
Smith, Pepperdine in Malibu, California, home of the rich and famous. Along the coast, overlooking the Pacific Ocean, it is a one-of-a-kind location. There's Brigham Young in the mountains of Utah, magnificent setting as well. All right, the way took a little bit off, and Alex Murkai comes up big again. So Murkai getting the start, played well last night off the bench. Got two kills, picks up another ace. The 6'5 graduate, the transfer from Princeton, Guy with 51 kills and 10 aces coming into this match. This time he goes strong. Back there is Fife. They go outside Ramones. The block by Pepperdine. Graves along with Watson, but sent over by BYU. Over the middle. Oh, nice block up front. Gavin Julian and Mitch Ramones. Boy, we'll see who controls the net. That might be the difference tonight. Great blocking on both sides. Ethan Watson has made his presence early in this match. We're tied at three in set number two. Gavin Julian to bring it into play. The middle blocker started from last year, led the team hitting 433, came into this, this series hitting 410, it came wooming. Ball popped up by Julian. There goes a bad pass, the waves knock it down. Ethan Watson. 4-3 Pepperdine. Trey called them busy, the four-year starter from Long Island, New York. Having an outstanding campaign. Trey Cole, 164 digs on the year, leading Pepperdine. My right, wave serving on Kane came Wumi. Good top spin, ball movement. Oh, great hustle by Herget and sent over by BYU Brown. And then the stuff over the middle, kept alive by Pepperdine, tapped over by Cole, and the Wings get the point. I think the Cougars almost stopped playing. It might have been an inadvertent whistle, and the officials are going to talk this over. And that's what Sean Olmstead's talking. They're going to say too many hits by Pepperdine, and the point will go to Brigham Young. Play was stopped momentarily, and then the officials talked it over. So it's four to four in the second set. On Olmstead, he played at Brigham Young, graduated in 2005, originally from Carpinteria, California. Actually, was the head coach of Brigham Young women's volleyball program from 2011 through 2014. Tapped over by Kachansky, kept alive by BYU. They get it over with Fife. It goes outside to Kachansky. We get a whistle. We're going to get a net against Brigham Young. Point to Pepperdine. By four waves. And the wave serving Ethan Watson. Yeah, for Sean Olmstead. In 2012, he won the West Coast Conference of BYU's women's volleyball team. He was the coach of the year. All right, backside, Ramones. You know, Mix Ramones. Yesterday, came up with nine kills, uh, seven digs. Uh, honorable mention All-American last year. Good jump served by Ramones, but the waves handle it. Kachansky with a push and able to score. Then trying to power it, saw the double blockers and then push it right into them. It's a nice read by the graduate senior, the transfer from UCLA, where he played four years. Ryan Graves, the freshman setter. Players have a, a lot of seniors, but they've got some good young players. Graves, a freshman. Watson, a redshirt freshman. Tyler Stewart, the other. Setter is also a freshman. Outside, Benson goes deep and apparently was touched. And Luke Benson gets the point. We're even at six in set two. Pepperdine won the first set 25 to 23. As the Waves hit 370 and the Cougars 467. Well, eight ties and two lead changes. All right, Waves on the offensive. They go outside, Marcai. Oh, what a block. Brown and Julian. Well, they were ready for that. One of Brown is 6'5. Out of Honolulu, the senior. 7'6 BYU. Tion Taylor, the middle blocker, serving. Plays to Makai with a slam. 
Was it touched? No. It was wide, no good. Well, attack air, ASEX BYU. Deion Taylor once again. 6'6 junior from Las Vegas. 2020 was the Nevada State Player of the Year. And going leads BYU, hitting 463. Way struggle a bit. Akeem Wumi, volley back by Murkai. Forget over the middle. Cole cannot handle it. Gavin Julian. Pepperdine going to take a timeout. It's 9-6 to six Cougars in the second set. Waves up one for Pepperdine. Six for Cole Kachansky. Ethan Watson with three and a couple of blocks. Cougars serving, moving left to right. Pepperdine outside with another big block. Julian along with Benson defending. A nice defensive effort by BYU. Blocking Cougars getting the edge now with eight. Pepperdine with five. Cougars, for the most part, really, if you look at the numbers, they've not been a great blocking team, but they've looked good in these two matches against Pepperdine. Outside, Capone Brown, but Murkai, along with Dave Chavaria defending. That time on the outside, Kachansky on the block, and then Benson cross court. Well, the Wave did a good job. Yeah, for the Cougars able to keep it in play and then finally get the point. Here you see Bernardo Adam with that right hand heavily taped again. Cut it badly in yesterday's match. The starting libero, the sophomore from Brazil, is going to know he's okay. He's suited up. Over the middle, De Chabaria sent back by Julian. Our team Wumi cannot handle. By right, Gavin Julian. Along with Tion Taylor, Pepperdine's got seven straight points to take the lead, 12 to six in set number two. Cougars hitting 463, Pepperdine now just 231, and struggling the second set, they're hitting minus 083. They have four kills on 12 swings and five attack air. And the Cougars are hitting 455 in this second set. All right, BYU serving. On a 7-0 run, Tion Taylor with a floater. Pepperdine on the backside, Kachansky. Three point for Pepperdine, trying to slow down the Cougars. 12-7 BYU. And you see Ryan Graves, the offensive player of the week, of his performance in the wins by Pepperdine over Concordia and USC. There's a play at USC next Saturday the 30th. BYU comes home to Concordia for two matches in Provo next weekend. Herget finds Capono Brown knocked down by Akeem. Akeem Wumi. Akeem Wumi again along with Dave Chavaria, but this time Brown wins it. An explosive outside hitter, Capono Brown. 13 to 7 BYU, and he's got a great serve. And then leading the Cougars with 29 service aces. Brown last year led the team with 30. Waves on offense. Outside, Murkai covered by BYU. Back row attack, misfiring Rominus. Point for Pepperdine, 13 to eight Cougars. BYU's men's basketball team made it to the NCAAs, worked their way to the Big 12. That's not easy, but they did get upset by Duquesne. Their women's volleyball, or women's basketball team, was in the WBIT, lost at Santa Clara in a heartbreaking game the other night. Uh, BYU, a lot of success. Let's see about this call. A point for BYU, 14 to eight. John Stanley comes in. Benson will sit down, number one. John Stanley from Honolulu. Terrific athlete and long, even so at 6'2", the senior. He's got a good jump serve, great ball movement. Back sideways, Murkai with the tap. Fife gets a touch, we get a whistle. And a net against BYU, point for the way. 14 to nine. You see Trey Cole, number three. Family in attendance on this senior in your afternoon. We'll take a look at those seniors' honor between sets two and three. And a special night for those players. Uh, it's served by Murkai Herget, the transfer from Penn State. 
And with a smash hit, Mitch Romanus, 23. 15 to 9, BYU. We figured this is going to go four or five. The two really good teams squaring off. Of course, the MPSF tournament at USC this year. They rotated every season. And that will be April 17th to the 20th. All seven teams as Ian Little comes in to serve for BYU. National championship this year at Long Beach State, April 30th through May the 4th. Eight teams, six conference champions, two enlarged teams will square up. Long Beach State number one in the nation this week. Akeem Wumi misfires. It goes long. 16-9 Cougars. Long Beach State this week, number one, Hawaii ranked second, UCLA third, UC Irvine fourth, Grand Canyon have been ranked number one for a couple weeks. They come in at number five and leading the MBSF at 8-0. Waves have to go to Grand Canyon April 11th and 12th to close out the regular season in Phoenix. Service center by Little and Pepperdine the point in the ball, 16 to 10. But the other big match, Grand Canyon visits UCLA on April 5th and 6th. That will be a showdown for the league championship. Stanford still holding on there, ranked sixth despite the record. BYU at seven, Pepperdine eight. Penn State number nine, Ohio State number 10. Akeem Wumi serving, quick hitter there. All tapped away, Waves able to control. Chachansky, another block up front. Tion Taylor, Chachansky pounds it. Kept alive by BYU. They go backside, Brown pushes it over. Waves again, a hit there by Watson. A jump hook. Well, that's a nice hit by Watson. It was not a great set. And Watson with the point. 16 to 11, Pepperdine down. Waves won the first set, 25 to 23. Well, ranked number 11, Loyola Chicago, Ball State, number 12. SC comes in at 13, Lewis at 14, Princeton at number 15. Service Air, side out Brigham Young, 17 to 11, Cougars. UC San Diego, 16, George Mason, 17. Cal State, Northridge, and McKendree both tied for the 18-19 position. And Santa Barbara ranked number 20 on this week's poll. Tyler Hergett with the serve. Akeem Wumi taps it over. Hergett again outside by Romanus. Nice save by Akeem Wumi. And then Kachansky. Block goes out of bounds. Got some heavy hitters on both sides. 17 12, Brigham Young. No mop things up on the Pepperdine side. These teams very well can meet in the MBSF tournament. There are seven conferences currently, and three are Division II conferences playing Division I men's volleyball. Over the middle, that is uh, Tion Taylor Waves keeping in play. Tapped over by Kachansky. Herget goes outside to Brown, but look at the block. Jay Chavaria, Ryan Graves. Well, there was a message there. It's Gabaria, the emotional leader of this Pepperdine team. And now the Waves get into striking distance. 17-13 Cougars. And Brandon Reed off the bench to come in to serve. 6'4", Richard, sophomore from Newport Beach. A lot of top spin. Outside Brown, above the block. Pass goes over the net and then the put away by Taylor. Well, the overpass by Pepperdine, and uh, Cougars capitalize. 18-13, Brigham Young. And Mitch Romanus, first team all NBSF last year, led the team with 313 kills, and he was an honorable mention All-American. Cougars appear to be good this year, and they are. 12-7 and seven on the campaign. Good jump serve. Waves go outside. Kajanski with the left hand trying to throw off that block. Luke Benson with the hit, and he got it. When you're blocking as well as both these teams are, you've got to use the quick attack in the middle and a lot of back row attack. Try to give one on one defensive one. The blocking for both sides has been excellent. Romanus comes up short. 
19 to 14. Gavin Julian has six blocks already. 11 for Brigham Young. Heberdine with eight. 11 to eight blocking. Cougars the edge, 18, 14, and Diggs. Waves go have four races. The BYU's only one and eight airs. That goes out of bounds. Well, an attack on a service air. And the Pepperdine serve. They've been able to keep it in play. Uh, because of that, BYU is so good offensively. They're hitting 396. Pepperdine 240. Tian Taylor comes out, number 21, and Noah Hain. And the Waves win the challenge. It was a service ace. 19 to 15. Point BYU. Winter. They'll keep those challenges. And Sean Homestead. We'll call one of his players over. And now they're talking to the official. Sean Homestead. Trying to get an explanation. Point does stand for Pepperdine. Wait a minute. Apparently the official made a mistake. And now he's talking to Jonathan Winter. Waves thought they won the challenge. And he's saying, yeah, it's my fault. And so the point will stand. It was a surface error. And BYU gets the point. Good thing I can lip read. All right, 2014 Cougars. And that is the score. And the Cougars serving Noah Hank. He was just about ready to serve in the Waves Challenge. Waves uh, able to handle it, tapped over by Merkai, knocked down by Julian and Brown. Comes back to Merkai, goes above the block, and the Cougars control. Benson hits it high, it came Wumi back there, a whistle, and we're gonna get a double contact against Pepperdine. Point to BYU, it's 21 to 14. Cougars trying to even the match. And this is going to go four or five. In all likelihood, probably five. Not a big difference between both teams. Cougars winning yesterday, 15 to 12. And again, and that comes up short. So what's the difference? One ace and nine airs from yesterday when they had nine aces, only 12 airs. So they're giving away a lot of points. Pepperdine, four races and six airs. Yesterday, they had four races and 23 airs. Hard to figure. All right, 21-15. Well, one reason the waves are up, one set to none. The chance game. Herget, outside Benson off the blocks. Big shot for Rhea, Alex Mukai defending 22-15 Brigham Young trying to even this match. And it will be Capono Brown. Just a terrific all-around player. Yeah, All-American freshman team. Great serve. Waves hit one of the steel beams, comes back to them. That's in play. Waves push it over. Back to Benson, who pounds it down. Those beams and lights, they sit very low, and the officials always go over the ground rules for a visiting team. As long as that ball stayed on the same side with Pepperdine, it's in play. If it hit a beam and went on the other side of BYU, it would be out of bounds, and the Cougars would get the point. All right, the serve out of bounds. Service error by Brown. 23-16, BYU. And now Martin de Chavarria. The match over one hour already, and we're just in the second set. It went two hours and 39 minutes yesterday. Probably figure it's going to go that long tonight. All right, quick hitter by her dad. Nice save by Kachansky. Now came Wumi, drives it. Laminus keeps it alive. It comes back to Benson. Ball hit comes up short. Point to Everdine. Too many hits. 23-17. Waves trying to at least make the Cougars work for this second set win. And they see Martin de Chavaria, New Jersey Institute of Technology. Four years, four times an all-conference player. And a team that was usually in the 
lower part of the, the, the conference. Waves again up from blocking. They go on the other side. Brown, Kachansky keeps it in play. Waves to Akeem Wumi all the block up front. Julian along with Luke Benson. Boy, Julian's dominating number 10. I have Luke Benson to serve. Top score on the season for BYU. Came into this match with 199 kills and hitting better than 300. All right, set point number one for Brigham Young. Outside, and that is Makai. Ways, can they get it over? They cannot. And it is a win for BYU. 25 to 17, and the match is all even at one set apiece. Team will change sides. We'll get ready for set numbers. Can make or break your season. All right, Capone Brown to serve. Took a little bit off of it. Cougars trying to keep it in play a little bit more. Day Chavaria, but when you do that, Pepperdine can get into their offense and they get a, a big kill from their middle blocker. Now the Cougars, one ace and ten airs. Pepperdine, four aces and six airs. It was the exact opposite yesterday when the Cougars prevailed with nine aces, just 12 airs. against the quality Pepperdine team. This one goes out of bounds. service there and they continue to add up and giving away points. Cole Kachansky there. DJ Chavaria to bring it into play. And we are tied at one in set number three. And for Brigham Young at home next weekend against Concordia. They lost twice to Grand Canyon at home. The block goes out of bounds and it is Luke Benson with the point. Waves still have to go to Grand Canyon at the end of the regular season. But for BYU, one of their top wins was against UCLA. They split the two matches. Grand Canyon now 8 0 atop the league standings. All right, Pepperdine looking at another strong serve. Murkai with a tap. Brigham Young again. They go outside. Rominus with a rip. Waves cover. They go back, tapped over there, and let's see, kept in play by BYU, Lominus, but there is Trey Cole on the other side. That is Ryan Barnett in the lineup for Pepperdine, 6'5", sophomore. Most of the year's been starting, weighs back row, and ripping it is Cole Kachansky. And we're tied at two in the third set. You see the transfer from UCLA. Came a reserve over the last couple of seasons because the Bruins were so good. And then they won a national title. Well, if you're Cole Kachansky, you really can't complain. Hey, we just won a national title. But he played quite a bit. You know, started the first couple of seasons on the Canadian Junior National Team. And maybe got a challenge here. Well, apparently that will be the call. A challenge coming. Waves uh, getting the point. Joseph Slope, the down official. Well, it's so tough to play a team back to back nights. I don't care who you are. And the point will stand for Pepperdine. And so, BYU still complaining about the call. That's Sean Homestead, pretty unhappy. And well, the whistle, they want to continue playing. Homestead continues to bug at the official, and now a yellow card. Well, the four-time MBSF Coach of the Year. Thought he had won his challenge, and Pepperdine will keep the ball, and we're tied at two. Wave serving on ace. Ryan Barnett. Barnett had been a starter most of the year. 164 kills, hitting 325. 6'5 redshirt sophomore. Started yesterday from Long Island, New York. The top young player in this conference. Another strong serve. 3-2 Pepperdine third set. And Capono Brown drives it, able to score. 
We're even at three. Now we talked about there are seven conferences currently playing Division I men's volleyball, and three of those are Division II. And the Northeast Conference, which is the newest conference, the Division II Conference, is not eligible yet to the NCAA tournament. They will be next year. Off the blocks. Number nine, Alex Mukai. They have got the Eastern Intercollegiate Volleyball Association. Penn State has picked to win that league. In the Big West, boy, that is a, a log jam with Hawaii, Long Beach State, and UC Irvine. In the MPSF, UCLA picked to win the league, but they're going to battle it out with Grand Canyon. Waves another strong serve. They're putting pressure on BYU. Rominus slams it. Pepperdine covers on the outside with a block up run. Rominus, Tion Taylor, and Tyler Hergat. Triple blockers on Kachansky. We're even at four. Conference Carolinas, North Greenville, the defending champion. Once again, they are the favorite. They are Division II Conference. The MEVA, the Midwest Intercollegiate Volleyball Association. Ohio State has picked to win that league. Graves, quick set over the middle. And that is the way the Anderson Fuller coming in. And Pepperdine scores. Anderson Fuller, the 6'9 senior from Manlius, New York, came off the bench yesterday and got six blocks. And he's in there to serve. Way of shaking things up in this third set. Five to four, Pepperdine with the lead. So in the Midwest Intercollegiate Volleyball Association, Ohio State. Outside, and that is Rominus. The Waves send it back. Herget goes back to Brano, the block up front. Dave Chavaria and Grays, but it goes out of bounds. And a point for Brigham Young. And then you have the Southern Intercollegiate Athletic Conference just playing there third year overall in Division I men's volleyball. They are Division II conference. And then you have Central State. Edward Waters, the favorite in that league. But they are eligible for the NCAA tournament. Outside Kachansky. And then the Northeast Conference, which will be eligible next year, Long Island University is the league favorite. Well, there you have it. NCAA tournament at Long Beach State. Top eight teams up. April 30th through May the 4th. It should be quite an event. Of course, with March Madness going on, men and women's NCAA tournament. Everybody's brackets are all busted already. Isn't that the case these days? So much parity in basketball. Men and women. Luke Benson. We're even at six. Of course, nowadays with the NCAA portal, you really don't know these days. Players leaving, top players, they're making difference. But there are so many players available in the portal in just about every sport. Nice sent back once again by BYU. Outside trying to smash it. And we're going to get a point to Pepperdine. Ryan Barnett, number 14. 7-6 wave. Well, look around. A lot of students have turned out. A uh, pretty good crowd around us upstairs. We sit way up high. Right, 12 or 1,300 on hand enjoying this match. And we're just getting started. 7-6 Pepperdine. Wave serving. Uh, Okachansky on the backside. Brown. Boy, when he's in the back row, he's dangerous. His shot misfires. Uh, and it's 8-6 to six Pepperdine. Well, attack air. And Cole Pachansky to bring it into play. Tyler Hergett, the transfer from Penn State, a reserve. Got 29 assists, three digs, and three blocks to seven. This is Hergett. Over the middle, Gavin Julian. Tucked to the bend. That quick attack. Both teams have been blocking so well. You've got to try to offset that. It'll be Capone Brown. 19 blocks for Brigham Young and Pepperdine with nine. A 19 to nine differential on blocking BYU with the edge. This is Ryan Gray's back row. Kachansky. Kachansky now with 11 kills, four digs and two blocks. Luke Benson with 13 leading Brigham Young. Capone Brown with eight, seven digs. But no aces. He had three yesterday. 
nine seven ways. And the fans enjoying themselves on this Saturday evening. Outside Benson, and boy, he climbs the ladder, doesn't he? And a great athlete, top scorer for BYU all season long with 199 kills, and you know he's always looking at double and triple teams, hitting better than 300. 6'7", junior from Newberry Park here in Southern California. Jump serve, where's the overpass, and then knocked down by Romanus. That serve starting to click for BYU. And we're even at nine. Despite that, the uh, Cougars have just one ace and 11 airs. Pepperdine, five aces and six airs. That comes up short. Well, Brigham Young may be just trying to put more pressure on Pepperdine's offense and create some things, but in doing so, they have committed a lot of airs, and that's changed things. One ace and 12 airs. It's not a good ratio. All right, 10-9 waves in the third set. We're even at one set apiece. Raman has took something off of it. Graves runs it down. Finds uh, Murkai and a point for Brigham Young. Again, the block up front. Good revenge. Fired up ASC Bernardo Adam and Libero number 15 with that bandaged right hand. I mean, he cut it severely. You know, Blood all over the court yesterday, and he was in a lot of pain, but he's looking much better today. It was nothing really serious. Service here. 11-10 Pepperdine. Now 1-8, 13-air. Uh, let's go back a couple years ago when Pepperdine played Long Beach State, and Long Beach State had 1-8 and 28 airs. Still won the match. They hit 440, but they gave a lot of points away. And sometimes you can take those stats and throw them right out the window. All right, jump serve, just missed long. And the Cougars celebrating that one. 11 to 11, back and forth, one point at a time by both teams. Coming into this third set, as Hergat serves, there have been 14 ties, four lead changes. And the Waves get the point. Ryan Barnett, number 14. 12 to 11, Pepperdine. Now Anderson Bullock. Well, the Waves who lost that second set rather handily. Brigham Young winning 25-17. And Jonathan Winter, not afraid to make a change and bringing players off the bench. Got a deep, talented roster just like Brigham Young. All right, outside Brown with a rip. Waves able to control. Graves goes outside to Kachansky who drives it. Nice save by Benson. On the other side, Romanus waves, keep it alive. Back to Kachansky with a tap. Here comes Brigham Young. Brown pushes it over. Pepperdine again, back to Kachansky, goes cross court, but it was touched. Point to Pepperdine. A nice read by Cole Kachansky went inside cross court. 13 to 11 way. Anderson Fuller once again. A 6'9 senior from upstate New York. Been a four year starter. Just to show you how good Ethan Watson is, a redshirt freshman putting Anderson Fuller on the bench. Uh, Fuller's been a key player this weekend. Serve comes up short. 13 to 12. Waves hitting only 203 for the match. Brigham Young, 372. And the serving again has been a difference maker, but this time on the downside for BYU. All right, Romanus keeps it in play with a serve, and then Dejan Maria. And he is the emotional leader of this team. Four times all conference uh, in the Eastern Intercollegiate Volleyball Association. Uh, a team that was always in, in the lower part of the, the conference, New Jersey Institute of Technology, but he always stood out. Ryan Graves serving the freshman setter for Pepperdine. Benson leaves no doubt. 14-13 Pepperdine. So with that second set handily won by BYU, always make changes. They bring in Ryan Barnett. They bring in Anderson Fuller. All right, this is Cougar serving. 
Tian Taylor over the middle. That is Dave Chavaria. Waves have the lead. 15 13 set sets. Waves going in third place at four and four. This is some of the students and fans enjoying themselves. Uh, got a good crowd. Well, even upstairs, we got a lot of fans around us, across the way, down below. The students have turned out probably around 11, 1,200. Nothing compared to what BYU draws, over averaging 3,500 at the Smith Fieldhouse. Against Grand Canyon in their second match, they drew over 4,000. All right, Pemberton, this is a good crowd for them. Cole Kachansky serving, and he gets an ace. Kachansky leads Pemberton this year with 21 aces out of Ontario, uh, Toronto, Canada. Graduate senior from UCLA. 16-13, Pemberton. Yesterday was BYU, went up two sets to one, that pivotal third set. A left serve, BYU over the middle, Julian, and him with a score. Gavin Julian has nine blocks, Mitch Robinus has five. We get a timeout, 7-5-23, and the Cougars the second, 25-17. Plays moving left to right in their white and orange, Cougars in their blue and white. Pepperdine with the serve. It'll be Cole Kachansky. Fight back there to receive. Capono Brown with a smash hit. But once you see him in the back row, more times than not, he's going to get the ball. Explosive hitter. 6'5", senior. 17-14, big point for BYU. Capono Brown tonight. Eight kills, seven digs, uh, service air. One ace, 14 errors for BYU. You see Anderson Fuller, Ryan Barnett, Alex Murdoch. Wave serving, Joe Deluzio comes in. Starter last year. Cougars are in fourth place at three and four. And needing another win. Not going to be easy. Same with Pepperdine over the middle, and that is Gavin Julian. Julian, six kills, nine blocks, and two digs for the middle blocker. Number 10, 18 15, Pepperdine. We're going to get maybe, we'll get a rotation. John Stanley in. Boys will make some substitutions. Stanley at 6-2. Waves on the offensive on the outside and getting the kill. Waves coming up big, Alex McKay. Big point for Pepperdine, 19-15. And now Ryan Barnett. He's trying to go up two sets to one. Pepperdine hitting 234 with the match. Brigham Young 378. And that one goes out of bounds. A service here. Side out BYU. Waves six aces, just nine errors. Complete opposite from yesterday. And safe for Brigham Young. Where they have one ace and 14 errors. Right Ian Little. He'll come in to serve. He was a difference maker yesterday with his serve. He put a lot of pressure on Pepperdine and delivered four aces. And he kept the ball in play more than anything else. Let's serve. Pepperdine goes outside the block up front. The great play by Gavin Julian. They get Tion Taylor and then it is her get to send it back. Pepperdine over the middle. Anderson Fuller. Trying to offset that block, you go with a quick attack or go with a back row attack. Rugers have really done a great job up front. Lominus has five blocks, nine for Gavin Julian. Tyler Hurg at the center has four, 34 assists, and four digs. All right, Pepperdine serving 2016. They have the lead. Good top spin. 
Ramones, Cougars, Ramones with a slam. Pepperdine again, Trey Cole, Jessica Chansky. Five attempts, just three attack errors. And for BYU, they're hitting 3.33 in set number three. But the waves are up. They have led most of the way in this third set. They have made a few changes. Run him, Ryan Barnett on the outside. Anderson Buller in the middle. And it has made a difference. Pepperdine serving, moving left to right. Good jump serve. Cougars outside. Ramones goes cross court. Waves keep it in play. Cole will volley it. This is Fife the Libero. Back to Ramones. Cole again goes up into the beams. Waves get it over. Great save by Fife. And then Ramones with another hit. They joust up front. Oh, what a block by Gachansky. Comes on the other side, blown, and gets the kill. It's pretty much unstoppable from the back row. Capono Brown. 21-17. Now, if you're Jonathan Winder, you keep a close reins on this. If you see the Cougars get a couple of points and get this to 21-19, you're probably going to take a timeout. I right, tell her, get the setter. Let's serve Pepperdine. Quick attack, Fuller missed it long. Again, Waves trying to attack that block. And Fuller attack air. It's 21 to 18. You see the Cougars get this point. I think the Waves will take a timeout. The Cougars getting a little bit of momentum here late. Forget. Cole receives the Waves over the middle. Fuller missed it again. Attack air, timeout at the end of this third set, but BYU on a 3-0-1 have closed the gap to 21-19. We'll see Trey Cole tonight has 10 digs, leading everybody on the floor. Caputo Brown with 8-7 for Jackson Pipe, the libero for BYU. Cougars serving on a nice run. Waves go outside to Kachansky, kept alive by Stanley. Goes to Ramones, who drives it and scores. A 4-1, it's 21-20, Pepperdine. Now for Pepperdine, trying to regroup, and the Cougars riding the serve of Tyler Herget. Herget once again, high toss, delivers up. But out of bounds, no good. One ace, 15 errors for BYU. 22 20 Pepperdine. Brendan Reed comes in with the wave to serve. Got a good jump serve. 6 4 Richards, sophomore from Newport Beach. Reed delivers up. Nice play by Fife. Waves able to cover. Back to Gachansky over the block. Right back there is Erget. On the other side, Brown goes over the block. Pepperdine again. Jay Chavarria. Quick attack. Celebrating the big point for Pepperdine. 23-20 waves. Trying to go up two sets to one. At home this year, the Waves are 10 and 3. Cougars on the road, a very respectable 5 and 2. They're 7 and 5 at home. Last year, the Cougars were 14 and 0 at Smith Fieldhouse. Waves are going to get an ace. Big point for Pepperdine. Set point number one. And then Reed once again. I right, see the scoreboard. Pepperdine fans standing. Took a little bit off. Over the middle, and there is Tion Taylor. Set point number two, 24-21, Pepperdine. Waves just went on a 3-0 run to regroup. Jonathan Winder in his second season, former four-time All-American at Pepperdine from 2005 through 2008. 
2005-2007. He was the National Player of the Year. He was a 6'8 setter. He was the Magic Johnson of a zero. Before coming to Pepperdine, he was the head coach of Fresno State's women's volleyball program for four years. All right, the wave, second chance. They have to tap it over, Kachansky. On the backside, Brown, but the block is there, and the Waves are going to win set three. 25 to 21. Pepperdine takes a two to one lead. Jane Bullshane sides will get ready for an hour and 45 minutes. It will be Pepperdine serving to start things in set four. Cougars up. Uh, they go backside to Brown coming out of the back row. On the other side, Pepperdine, Ryan Barnett. Covered there by Romanus. Benson drives it. And it was touched to point. Luke Benson now with 16 kills. Number one. All right, Capono Brown. Now the Cougars up. Uh, at 12 and 7, ranked number 8 in the nation, I mean 7 in the nation, Pepperdine number 8. That's 16 and 6. Back row, Kachansky. Nice save by Romanus. He goes back to Benson off the block. Ball is touched. What a great effort by Graves. And then outside it is the, the Ways Murkai. Back to Romanus. Diving save by Cole. Back to Murkai again. Covered by BYU on the other side. Brown able to score. Going to make it Benson. Point BYU. Well, what a rally. Some great plays on both sides. Luke Benson finally getting that point. Now it's Capone O'Brown one, one more time. Two nothing Cougars. So just these two matches back to back. So tough to play your opponent. So tough to beat him twice in two days. Service there. Two to one. Pepperdine will get the ball. We'll see the way his bench. It will be Martin de Chavarria to serve. I scratch your head. The way is only hitting 207. Lead the match 2 to 1. Cougars hitting 354 and trailing. On the outside, Benson way up the ladder, but the waves control. On the backside, Merkai, but a big block. Julian Benson and Erga. A nice defensive ever. Boy, Julian just controlling the net. Luke Benson. Three to one, BYU. You know, trying to get this to a set five. Luke Benson to serve. Came into the match with 18 aces on the year. Strong jump serve. The overpass. Touched by Herget. On the other side, Romanus. Mitch Romanus. He got 10 kills. Brown with 10, 17 for Benson. And we begin set number four, four to one, BYU. All right, Cougars, one more time. Another good serve. Cole runs it down, volleyed over by Fuller. Herget, back row to Benson and the Waves get the point. This time to coming out of the back row was Luke Benson. Right, both teams are great athletes. Barnett to serve for the Ryan Barnett, outside hitter to bring it into play. 4 2, Waves down. They go cross court to Romanes. The double blockers, Fuller and Graves were both there. It's just a nice read by Mitch Romanus going inside. It's a tough shot. If they had the matchup they wanted, they did not have a defensive specialist on the weak side. It was the middle blocker, Fuller. Who pretty much roams the middle. Five to two, Cougars. Up. Waves overpass again, then the stuff by Romanus. The waves are going to challenge this. Jonathan Winter over to the bench, to the table. Yep, yeah, I'm going to throw the green card. The call on the court. And then that definitely was moving. Well, get the decision. Well, the one's going to stand for Brigham Young. Well, the waves lose one of their 
challenges. Score holds up, six to two. Sean Olmstead along the sidelines. Besides being a four-time All-American, Jonathan Winder also was an assistant coach of the men's volleyball team under Marv Dumphy back in 2014 before he got the job at Washington women's volleyball as an assistant. All right, back row attack, Cole Kachansky, but covered by the Cougars, and then Tyler Herget with the put away. Seven to two Cougars. I think one more point. The Waves just might take a timeout. Got to keep the reins on this and not let the Cougars get too far out in front in set number four. Gavin Julian. Got 10 blocks tonight over the middle of Anderson Bullock. Boy, much needed for Pepperdine. Seven to three Google. We see the Pepperdine fans and a lot of students down below. BYU always travels well. Great commitment to athletics. Their own television station on cable. Great facilities. The Marriott Center seats 20,000. Volleyball facility seats 4,000 outside Romanus. 8 3 Cougars. Well, special thanks to our entire Game On Entertainment crew, our director tonight, Casey Piper, producing Archie Corasani and Christian Soler, our producer on site, Kristen Elizondo. Special thanks to the Pepperdine Athletics Communications Department, Sarah Ottoman and James Hansen, Morgan Davenport, and Morgan Cheetah. They all do such a great job, and we can't thank them enough. By the way, Kachansky. But that goes wide, no good. It's 9-3 Cougars. And there's the 517 and Pepperdine, the third 25-21. That's coming up almost on two hours. We just get the feeling we're going by. All right, waves. Uh, Trey Cole sets Kachansky. Nice set by Trey Cole, the senior. Libero, who has 11 digs tonight. Opponent Brown with 10 to go along with 10 kills. Jackson Pipe the Libero for Brigham Young with 9. Luke Benson, 17 kills. Cole Kachansky topping Pepperdine with 14. Wave serving. I say by Fife. There's Brown with a tap. Ball batted in the air. Graves goes cross court to Kachansky with a slam. BYU 9, Pepperdine by. Pepperdine coached by Jonathan Winder. Assisted by Matthew Pollock, Will Craft, and Michael Wexter. All right, Anderson Buller. A strong serve outside Brown that goes cross court. Capono Brown. Number 13 in blue. 10 to 5 Cougars. And Mix Romanus. At the service line. Pretty young looking, isn't he? This thing might be about 12. You know he's a junior. All right, waves on the offensive. Tapped over by De Chabaria. Comes back on the outside. Benson, the block up front by Pepperdine. De Chabaria, along with Ryan Graves. Again, the shot. And this one goes out of bounds. No good. Nice job by Pepperdine. Blocking at the net. De Chabaria. Chansky and De Chabaria, each with three blocks. On the backside, Capone Brown, 11 to 6. 25 to 12, blocking Brigham Young with the edge. Diggs, 39 37, Cougars. But the serve, again, a key to this match. Waves seven aces, just nine errors. Not giving away points, but the Cougars, one ace, 16 errors. Outside, driving it, sent over by the Cougars. That was Kachansky, then the quick attack, Jay Chavarria. What a great read by Martin. As the 
the Cougars continue to block so strong at the net. One A, 16 airs, what a turnaround for both teams. A positive for Pemberton and a negative for Brigham Young. For BYU, was so good last night in that 15-12 win. Kachansky, 11-7 BYU. Outside, Capono Brown, but a two shot, no good. And all of a sudden, BYU may take a timeout. 11 to 8. Remember, I'm back by three. And Cole Kachansky once again. Four years at UCLA. They've got him out of the NCAA portal. As they did Dave Chavaria and Alex McCott. Overpass. Knocked down by Dave Chavaria. Now here comes the timeout. BYU is 11 to 9. Cougars set for the Way Cougars. Trying to get this to a set five. Cougars already had seven five set matches. They're four and three. Pepperdine has had four. They're three and one. They had their first loss in five setters yesterday uh, against BYU. All right, Cole Kachansky. Waves trying to finish strong. They go outside. Luke Benson. But he really is a great athlete. All right, Capono Brown, 12 to 9, BYU. Brown tonight, with 12 kills, 10 digs, a double double. Backside, waves go deep. Ryan Barnett able to put it away. Big point for Pepperdine, 12 to 10. It gets BYU looking over their shoulder. They got off to an early lead. Uh, Milling Pepperdine closing in. Match coming up on two hours. All right, Martin de Chavaria with a floater. Burgett runs it down, finds Benson, drives it. Kachansky is back there to receive. Well, just at the net. And a point for BYU. Gavin Julian defending. And Luke Benson. 13 to 10. Benson will come out. John Stanley in to serve. Now Stanley, another good ball handler, can play in the back row. Good offensive threat. Excellent athlete. Strong jump serve. And that goes out of bounds. A service air. Completely different from yesterday. One ace, 17 airs. Yesterday, nine aces, just 12 airs. It certainly assisted in BYU's win last night. Uh, tonight, it may cost them. We'll see. Great serve by Barnett. On the backside, Brown, Akeem Wumi back in for Pepperdine. Kachansky, able to score. So the ways put Akeem, Akeem Wumi back in the lineup. It's 13 to 12. The Waves celebrating along the sideline. Ryan Barnett again. All starts with the serve. Coaches will tell you two things you have to do, strong serving and able to receive. There's Fife able to receive. Outside Romanus, outside missed it. Attack air. And we are even at 13. Ryan Barnett once again, because when you talk about serving, it encompasses a lot of things. You gotta put pressure on the other team. Strong serve, keep it in play. Receiving, of course, able to handle a serve like that. Getting your offense, high percentage shots. Romanus hits, waves back on offense. That came Wumi, knocked down by Romanus. Waves get it back. Back row Kachansky, fight with a touch. Nice save by Romanus, volleyed over by Brown. Pepperdine again, back row Kachansky, diving save by Brown, and then Julian with the put away. Oh, wow. Cougar fans applauding that one. What a rally. Fife 
and Brown time and time again keeping the ball in play. Pepperdine the same. Kachansky. Trey Cole. All right. Here comes Ian Little. The ace out of the bullpen. A great server. 14-13 Brigham Young. Cougars are down two sets to one. Nice serve. Waves up. Over the middle, that is Anderson Buller at the Nets. A stop there, but we get a whistle. Going to be a violation against BYU. Point to Pepperdine. We're tied at 14. Coming into this four set, there have been 23 ties combined and five lead changes. They're trying to get a lead change here. They've been trailing throughout this four set. Even a 14, and comes up short. Waves, seven aces, only 10 errors. Cougars, one ace, 17 errors. Cougars hitting 325, Pepperdine 207. Cougars have outscored Pepperdine 54 to 42 in kills. But the Waves have the edge in serving, seven to one. Waves over the middle of stuff by Anderson Moore. Tied again at 15. All right, Anderson Moore, the senior, 6'9 on the manliest New York. One of eight seniors on it before the match. And sends it long, side out BYU. 16 15 Googers. And Luke Benson comes back in. On the outside, Mitch Romanus. Hey, he looked like he's young. And Romanus. Plays like a veteran. Waves to Kachansky against the triple blockers. Tion Taylor, Capono Brown, Luke Benson defending. 17 15 Cougars. And Lominus one more time. Cougar fans on the edge of their seat, but an ace. 18-15. Let's see if Pepperdine takes a timeout. Cougars on the 301 and riding the serve with Mitch Lominus. You see some fans enjoying themselves. Waves now a little bit concerned. Are we looking at a set five? Raman has a great serve, but the waves handle it. Go back to Kachansky with a tap. It's pinballed. It comes back to Benson, who drives it. We get a whistle. Going to get a net against Pepperdine. Point to Brigham Young. Or well, are they going to call this against BYU? No, it's a point. 19-15. A 4-0 run. And Mitch Raman one more time. Those cross court and deep. Trey Cole gets to Kachansky off the hands. Uh, Kachansky with a 17 kill. Luke Benson with 19 topping BYU, 13 for Mitch Romanus, and 12 for Capono Brown. Mitch Alvarillo with seven. Alex Mackay with five. Wave serving Ryan Graves, the freshman center. They go outside to Benson, goes deep. Hakeem Wumi with the save, bounces off the net, comes back to Kachansky with the hit. And then it is Fife, sets to Benson on the back side, but look at the block. Oh, what a play. Jay Chavarria. Big stop there by Pepperdine. 1917 against Luke Benson. And now Ryan Graves. Left-hander. Outside Benson off the hand. This time able to score. With Benson this time in another chance. Read the block. Goes cross court. 2017. And Noah Haim will come in. The serve for BYU. Goes to set five, they'll play to 15. Again, you must run by two, there's no cap. Waves over the middle, return there by Julian 
and Capono Brown. By Gavin Julian. Who last year was honorable mention all MBSF. Going to be a first teamer this year. All right, 21 17. As we are now looking, probably in all probability, a set five. Just like last night. Gray's quick hitter there, Jay Chavarria. Nice read by Graves, who has 33 assists on the night and five digs. Tyler Herget has 46 assists, six digs, five blocks for the transfer from Penn State. Number three, the setter. 21 18, Pepperdine down. Graves serving. It goes to Benson, firing away. 22 to 18, but the ability to receive and then execute your offense. Cougars, two aces, 17 airs. Pepperdine, seven aces, 11 airs. Waves overpass and knock down. Tyler Herget. 23-18. Well, you wouldn't have it any other way, would you? Got to go five. Just outstanding volleyball on both sides. That one gets away by Capone Brown. The Waves get it back, 23-19. It's not over yet. Anderson Fuller back into the Waves. Andrew Winter along the sidelines. Six eight setter in his day. He was ahead of his time. You just don't see many, if at all, six eight setters. All right, Pepperdine serving. Burgett runs it down, finds Benson over the block and drops it in. It is set point number one. Luke Benson now with 22 kills. Last night he had 21. Let's make a few changes. Alex Mackay in the back row. The ball handler Luke Benson serving. 24-19 Brigham Young. He rolls the dice. Ways able to get their offense. Mackay knocked down up front by Julian this time. The kill from the outside, but that goes out of bounds. No good. BYU wins just here a moment ago yesterday. And the Cougars prevailed 15 to 12. BYU will serve to start the fifth set. Now the Herget. Waves, Graves runs it down. Waves from the backside. The shot by De Chavaria. No good. One nothing BYU. Cougars playing their eighth butt set match of the year. They are four and three. Pepperdine, their fifth, they're three and one in five set matches. Cougars trying to sweep the regular season over Pepperdine. They did it last year in Provo. Ways on the backside. Ryan Barnett. Bad and one. There's two outstanding teams, BYU ranked number seven, Pepperdine number eight. Waves at 16 and six on the year, Cougars 12 and seven. They're home against Concordia next weekend, Waves at USC next Saturday. Right, Pepperdine serving comes up short. Ryan Barnett missing that one, two to one BYU. And now Mix Romanus. And they get to eight, either team, they will change sides. Number nine, Graves tapped over by Mercai. Comes back to Benson, the block, but it goes out of bounds. Three to one, BYU. He's trying to regroup. Early on, Mitch Romanus one more time at the service line. He's 
see Joseph Sloat, the down official. Service air just missed wide. Three to two, the Waves get the ball back. And Alex Mukai at the service line. Well, let's see, we're going to get maybe a challenge, apparently so. Players, and hey, what you see? Right, we'll stand for number nine. Uh, three to two Cougars on the service air. It didn't take long. All right, Alex Mukai. Four years at Princeton, graduate senior. He's on a Canadian junior national team, 6'5", explosive athlete. A pretty good jump serve. All right, Cougars go to Benson. All right, look, Benson. They've been so good this weekend. 21 kills last night. He's got 23 tonight. He's hitting 486. And he's usually looking at double and triple blockers. And that's how good he has been. But he reads the blocks extremely well. All right, Waves down four to two, tapped over by De Chavaria. Cougars find Benson and drops it in. BYU five, Pepperdine two. Match two hours and 20 minutes. They went 239 yesterday. All right, Tion Taylor. Back in to serve. Got a pretty good floater. Little blocker. They'll mop things up on the Pepperdine side so no one slips and turns an ankle or a knee. Five two Cougars. You know, BYU gets the point here. I think the Waves might take a timeout. We'll see. The chance game delivers. Big point for Pepperdine. Five to three, Pepperdine trailing. For the match, there have been 26 ties, five lead changes. All right, Pepperdine. Gets themselves an ace. Brendan Reed. Great jump serve, crowd loves it on the Pepperdine side. Big point, big serve. Waves to eight aces, just 12 airs. Cougars, two aces, 19 airs. Almost a one to 10 ratio. They'll mop things up on the BYU side. They're making sure nobody slips. BYU five, Pepperdine four. Kind of about 1,200 on hand at Firestone Field out. Watching a good one. That goes out of bounds. Side out, BYU. Six to four Cougars. Brown to serve BYU. Mike Capone Brown. If you're the Cougars, this is the guy you want at the service line. Waves on offense. Outside Kachansky. All right, Pepperdine's ball handling has been terrific. I mean, those are strong serves by Brigham Young. And the Waves still get a great look at Kachansky to put away. Six to five, Pepperdine down. They're serving Ryan Graves, the left serve. Outside Benson, off the hands of Kachansky. Cole sets Kachansky. Nice save back there by Romanus. They come back to Benson, who gets the kill. Well, I give Mitch Romanus a nice save and allowing the Cougars to get the point. Seven to five, BYU. And now Luke Benson. Got 25 kills. He's hitting 500 on 40 swings. Hey, Benson will come out. John Stanley will come in to serve. My right, both coaches working their bench. There's two outstanding coaches, Sean Olmstead of BYU, Jonathan Winder of Pepperdine. And a service ace. Well, how's that for a substitute? 
Ace to five. Pepperdine moving left to right. The Cougars in blue and white. BYU serving. And this is uh, John Stanley. Waves up. Outside to Kachansky. Nice save by Stanley. They go outside to Ramones, who pounds it and scores. So I give the credit to John Stanley, able to handle the hit by Kachansky and allow the Cougars to get that point. You see, Renato Adam, number 15, with that right hand. I mean, it's, it's a huge bandage. Right, nine to five. And we're going to get, let's see, a challenge. And Pepperdine. He's bringing Cole Rasek. Red Blade, the first time in the two nights. Rasek comes in. Cougars on a roll. Rasek, a good ball handler. Outside, and Pepperdine scores. Ryan Barnett with a big point. That's the reason Rasek's in there, because he's an excellent ball handler. He's 6'4", redshirt sophomore from Huntington Beach. He started sometimes this year. Right, big point for Pepperdine, 9-6, Kachansky. Waves will try to ride his serve here late. And he comes up short. Side out, Brigham Young, 10-6. Ian Little comes in in to serve. A key moment in this set number five and in the match. Ten to six, BYU. Trying to go back to back. Five set wins against Pepperdine. Yesterday, two hours and 39 minutes. Booming serve, but goes out of bounds. Now, wait a minute, whistle. Let's see what we have. Was there a violation? They have not changed the scoreboard. The serve was out of bounds. Trey Cole is talking to the other official, Kevin Cole. Jonathan Winder waits across the way, arms folded. Now, Trey Cole trying to explain to the other official they have not changed the scoreboard. Maybe the ball was not in play and they served before the official signaled. And so maybe just they'll do it over. We'll see. Yeah, we sit way upstairs. That appears to be the call because it was a service error. And now they'll be able to bring it into play. Now this official signal, see that right arm. So instead of a service serve, a point for Pepperdine in the ball, they're going to do it over. That's a big, big moment in this match. There's Trey Cole. Backside has tapped over the way. Ryan Barnett. Ten to seven. There you see the crowd. A lot of youngsters in attendance. Again on this senior night. Joe DeLucio will come in to serve. The uh, red shirt junior is a senior classman. Started last year at over 200 kills. And now has to push the waves and try to come back in this one. Took a little bit off. They go outside of Ramones. And not much you can do. Great execution by Brigham Young to receive him and then the set. And Raman is having a big night. 14 kills, 10 digs, 5 blocks. 11 7 BYU. Tyler Hergat to serve. The setter. Transfer from Penn State where he was a reserve last year. Over the middle, a quick hitter by De Chavaria, but played by BYU. Rominus again. Trey Cole is there. Wave set Barnett, pushes it over. Ball popped up in the air. This is fight back to Rominus. Kachansky's in the back row. It comes over the middle, Rasek. 
played by Brigham Young. They go back to Romanus again. We get a whistle, and we're going to get a net against Pepperdine. Point to Brigham Young. 12-7 Cougars. Tyler Hurgan one more time. Going to get a timeout taken by the Wave. Pepperdine in the set. Set five, hitting 308. Wave barely hitting over 200 for the match. All right, Pepperdine trying to rally. Shot attempt, no good. Point Brigham Young. Cougars are hitting 365 for the match. Pepperdine, 203. Cougars have outscored Pepperdine 66 to 50 in guilds. Blocking, they have dominated 34 to 17. 13 to 7, Brigham Young. Graves, a quick hitter, blocked up there by Taylor. Again, the wave, that's Rasek. Cougars, another chance. Romanus firing away. NYU 14, Pepperdine 7, match point number one. Cougars have been brilliant in this fifth set. And then an attack here. Eight kills, 11 swings, hitting 727 for the match. Outside, the shot is no good. Cougars win 15 to 7. BYU celebrating. Teams will congratulate each other. Uh, quite a weekend.